What is an expert witness? Justice will not be served until those who are unaffected are as outraged as those who are. Benjamin Franklin An expert witness is a person engaged to give an opinion based on experience, knowledge, and expertise. The overriding duty of an expert witness is to provide independent, impartial, and unbiased evidence to the court or tribunal. The term expert witness is used to describe a person who is called upon to testify during a trial due to his knowledge or skills in a field that is relevant to the case. Just as a surgeon relies on instruments to perform a successful surgery, so does an attorney depends on tools to win a case. One of these tools is an expert witness or someone such as a medical examiner, engineer, accountant, or scientist who has more knowledge on a particular subject than the average person and is capable of giving an unbiased opinion in court. Witnesses play a very important role in criminal cases. They have to clarify what happened by telling the judge or jury everything they know about an event. A witness is someone who has relevant information about a crime. Witnesses must make an oath or solemn mistake that they will tell the truth in court. Expertise takes time. It is a long process resulting from experience and practice. Expert thought is often characterized as intuitive, automatic, strategic, and flexible. Intuitive, novices follow particular steps and rules when problem solving, whereas experts can call upon a vast amount of knowledge and past experience. Automatic, complex thoughts and actions become more routine for experts. Their reactions appear instinctive over time, and this is because expertise allow us to process information faster and more effectively. Strategic Experts have more effective strategies than non-experts. For instance, while both skilled and novice doctors generate several hypotheses within minutes of an encounter with a patient, the more skilled clinician conclusions are likely to be more accurate. In other words, they generate better hypotheses than the novice. Flexible. Experts in all fields are more curious and creative. They enjoy a challenge and experiment with new ideas or procedures. The only way for experts to grow in their knowledge is to take on more challenging rather than routine tasks. Clear communicator. As experienced as an expert may be, he or she must be able to transfer deep subject matter knowledge from his or her mind to that of the finder of fact. Coachability. Experts, by definition, are often the smartest people in the room, and they are frequently in a position of authority over how things around them are conducted. But litigation is a team sport. Experts who work well with others in a matrix environment and under pressure are a godsend to a litigation team. Confidence. While experts might have mastered a particular subject matter, they are confident, but not overly so. Delivery of the information is paramount. Though one may expect that a confident manner goes hand in hand with a clear communication, that is not always the case. Conviction. It is essential that the audience, whether it be judge or jury, perceive that the expert strongly and passionately believes in the opinion he is delivering. If the audience take away the sense that the expert is indifferent or apathetic toward the testimony, it will leave them with the sense that the expert is simply both and paid for. Consistency. Consistency is a critical factor that is sometimes overlooked. This consistency must be embedded in their opinion 
as stated in their publication, previous testimony, and even in views conveyed during the initial interviews and meetings. Charisma. This is an extreme, extremely intangible quality, but it can make or break a good presentation to a judge or jury. Some relevant factors to assess are regional appeal, accent, body language, posture, and even personality quirks that can sometimes be endearing. Many times the important feature of charisma has to do with the teaching skills of the expert. Too often, we see experts who come across as if they live in an ivory tower with first-class pedigree, but who can't connect with a jury. Connection. The expert must connect with the judge or jury, pure and simple. Without that connection, the testimony will fall flat and be ineffective. Techniques can be used to amplify the connection, such as excellent demonstrative exhibits. Nevertheless, the ideal expert has an innate ability to connect with other human beings. Caring. The ideal expert has an ability to convey a level of concern for her field of research and compassion for the people involved, including the litigant, judge, jury, or subjects of their research and treatment. If the jury sees this compassion, it can be infectious and extremely persuasive. Character. Measures of character can be expressed in many ways, including a sense of honesty, hard work, and commitment to the field of research, and a focus on community service. There are certain rules for qualifying as an expert. In court, when an expert is presented, both attorneys may question the, the expert on matters of background and expertise. This process is referred to as qualification, and if an expert does not meet the le legal definition of expert, they may not be allowed to testify. This is a short bullet list of items that will be asked in qualifying an expert witness. How long have you worked in the field? What certification do you hold in this field? Where did you go to college? Did you graduate? What degrees do you have? What are your publications? When testifying, stay calm. Easier said than done. If you have never done it, Approaching the bench and taking the witness stand may seem like a lot of fun. In, in a case where a lot is underlined and it all depends on the expert testimony, nerves will shake and cages will be rattled. The best advice is to stay calm, drink a lot of water. How do you interview an ex expert witness? See how he reacts and how he explains his opinion. As the candidate, how she would explain a particular related concept to a layman. Then listen critically to the answer. If the answer is too complicated, the jury and the judge will have a difficult time relating to the expert witness and understanding your case. Expert testimony is presented in legal proceedings when a judge or a jury needs assistance to evaluate a material fact in a court proceeding. In common law system, expert testimony is usually proffered by one of the parties. The evidence must be reliable, relevant to the case, more probative than pre prejudicial, and ma must exist the trier of fact to be admissible. Research done by Dr. Lib J. Libakin. Justice is not to be taken by storm. She is to be wooed by slow advances. Benjamin N. Cardozo Please subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell to hear more updates. Thank you.